What is up you guys? I am sick as you can tell like my voice is like super nasally and congested I know but I'm actually feeling a lot better than I've been feeling the past few days I had a fever of like 103 it got up that high like that's the highest my fever has ever been that I can remember like maybe I had a fever like that when I was a baby but as far as I know I've never had a fever that high and it just came out of nowhere like I had the full day like I was snapping and I was fine and then it just hit me all of a sudden but it's just like a sinus infection it hits me like twice a year really bad and then I'm normally good for the rest of the year anyways I'm gonna try to do some vlogging for you guys today I just did my makeup on snapchat I did this look using the ace beauty quintessential palette so I will be doing this look on YouTube soon. I know y'all want to see a tutorial, right? Let me know in the comments down below. But I had a lot of fun filming this look and it's perfect for summer. As you can see, these colors are like super beautiful. I used these two shades for the look today. I know I need to get this nail done, but I'm just touching up the tangerine color right under my eye. For lip gloss today, I finally purchased more of my MAC lip gloss in spite. You'll know this is like my favorite lip gloss ever in life. And y'all have been asking me about the new packaging because this is the first time I've received it in the new packaging. And to me, the formula is different, but the color seems the same to me. I actually prefer this formula. It's not as sticky as it used to be. What do y'all think about Max new formulas and packagings? Do y'all like it? And I'm going to take a little bit of my Tarte. This is the Creamy Confidence Powder Foundation, and I'm using the shade Tan Honey. This is what it looks like right here. So I'm just touching this up to make sure that makeup is on point, okay? I really like my makeup today. What do y'all think? Do y'all like it? Yay, nay. So this nose ring, like I'm missing so many of the diamonds on this nose ring. I need to just pull it out. I have to find my other nose rings, but... Yeah, it looks really bad right now, and it has so much makeup on it, and it's missing so many of those rhinestones, but I used to get, like, the gold and diamond ones, but I always lose my nose rings, so I'm like, I'm not buying any more of those, because they just get lost. It's a waste of money for me. If you have your nose pierced, and you, like, use a specific brand or anything, and your nose ring stays in, like, 24-7... Let me know what you use. I've tried the actual hoop ones, like the ring ones, and I can't get those in my nose. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm not used to them. I'm just so used to the studs. I've also tried the ones that have, like, the hook, too, and those fall out on me, too. They all end up falling out on me. I don't know what's up. But the hole in my nose never closes up because I've had my nose pierced since I was, like, 21. And that was like eight years ago. So do the math. You know how old I am now. You know, I'm old. So I shared this palette on Snapchat. I picked this up from the Anastasia Beverly Hills website earlier this week. The shipping was super fast. I did do the FedEx, was it two day or next day air? One of the two. But oh my gosh, y'all. This palette looks so so pretty like what look at the colors in this palette like so pretty right do y'all want to see a tutorial with this or nah let me know I feel like it's the perfect like fall palette right as far as perfume is concerned I'm trying to crack open the new mac candy yum yum perfume that I got when I went to mac the other day 
but this is one of my favorites. I already went through a bottle of this and it smells just like candy. This is what I'm going to use today. Here it is, you guys. Uh, so pretty and it smells just as beautiful. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this on. Ooh, yes. Spray my neck, my arms, and I always get the back of my neck too. And I'm ready to go. So I actually found another nose stud. So I've got it in my nose. I'm going to spray my face once more with my Fix Plus. Then I'll be ready to go. Okay? Y'all know how I feel about setting spray. I bathe in it. Whew, I love this. I'm going to throw this little travel size one in my bag. But yeah, I'm about to go get something to eat. So I will definitely let y'all know where I end up going. I don't even know the song. Why am I dancing? Yeah, you would have been dead, bro. And I feel like it's the best on my house of rest, bro. Because you really already know a nigga here first. I cut your guy here. So y'all always ask me, like, like what Korean barbecue spot I'm at. This is one of the places that I love to go to. It's like Gwinnett. So good. And they're open like stupid late. Thank you. Get for hot. So the food was really good. I didn't eat as much as I normally do because I've been sick and I feel like, I don't know, like my appetite isn't like what it was, but I'm slowly, you know, building it back up. But that soup, like the spiciness and the heat, it definitely helps soothe my throat because I still have a bit of congestion. But overall, like, I love Korean barbecue. It's so good. I always get the um, Korean short ribs and the marinated beef from that particular restaurant. But there's a few other ones that I like to go to. I like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Ooh sounds worse than how I feel right now but I also like Tofu Village that one is in um like Marietta area and I also like Breakers and there's another one over here called Iron Age um but Gwinnett has a whole bunch of like good Korean barbecue restaurants but I need to throw my seatbelt on because we're about to hop on the highway so I will talk to y'all in a little bit so I didn't really get to vlog as much as I wanted to do and I have been wanting to do a, a beauty empties video so uh, that is what we're gonna do for the tail end of this video I have been saving up some beauty products that I hit pan on or I completely used up. So I hope that y'all will enjoy this kind of video. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below and thumbs up this video, of course. But I'm first going to start off with this product from Ole Hendrickson. And this is their True Serum Collagen Booster. It has vitamin C in it. I absolutely love this serum. I use it during the day and it really helps to brighten your skin tone. I have a new one of these. They actually have new packaging for these now and I showed it in my last skincare video. But if you're on the hunt for a bomb serum, I highly recommend that. <clears throat> if you hear any popping, that is my Snapchat. Let me go ahead and turn the volume of my phone off because I know that's going to get annoying. 
And I gotta stop looking at myself because my vlog camera, I am looking at myself because the screen is right here. But yeah, there's no reason to be doing all that. Next up, we have the MAC Candy Yum Yum Perfume. It's like really dirty because this is my old one. I showed y'all that I actually have a new one of these in the vlog earlier because I did apply this scent today. So it's funny that I'm showing the old one, but it is rare for me to go through perfume like completely because I do have a bunch that I switch out. But if I truly, truly love a perfume, then I'll rock it like constantly. And this is one of those perfumes that I absolutely love. I didn't have it for a while and I'm so happy that I have it again. So if you like really sweet and fruity perfumes, I highly recommend that y'all check this one out. Since we're on perfume, this one from YSL, this is Black Opium. I'm obsessed with this perfume. I absolutely love this bottle too. It just looks like really sleek and just beautiful. It's like kind of black but kind of glittery too like it's just a nice bottle anyways I have another one of these this perfume has like a coffee accent in it it's kind of spicy but it smells like sexy and sophisticated at the same time like I just realized that I had lip gloss on my teeth. I hope y'all couldn't see that if you can just ignore it it happens anyways I love this scent it's perfect for like a night out really like fall winter season but I wear this year round because it's one of my favorite scents. I feel like with empties videos it's products that you love right because you obviously used it up so you gotta like it right like if I don't like something I'm not gonna use it up that's just me though. So next up we have the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip. This is a clay cleanser and it's really good if you have like oily skin. I use this and I feel like it really helped to just clean my skin nice. It didn't irritate my skin whatsoever. I know that Sunday Riley products are kind of expensive but I truly do love this cleanser. Another cleanser that I used up is this one from Philosophy. This is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash and I feel like this cleanser is really a good cleanser overall um, it's really good at exfoliating your skin and cleansing your skin I know when I was using this on a daily basis it was a little too exfoliating for my skin so I started to use it like once a week and I found that that worked in my regimen so it did take me quite a while to use this up but it is a good facial cleanser I didn't have any issues with it Next up we have this. This is by Sweet Spot and it is the Vanilla Blossom Gentle Wash. And this is a feminine cleanser and it smells so good but it doesn't irritate down there. Like this cleanser is bomb. I love this. It smells so good. I have more of this upstairs because I love this stuff. Next up we have Max Bite. This is the old packaging. Like I scraped this till I couldn't scrape any more out of this tube. I'm wearing Spite right now of course with the new packaging and y'all know this is like holy grail for me. You need Max Bite in your life. Like I feel like this looks good on pretty much every skin tone. I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. I have two foundations that I used up and they're both my favorite foundations. First up is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and this one is in the shade Mink. I actually have a different shade now though. I went a shade down. I feel like Mink was a little bit... It was a little more red than the next shade down and I forget what the next shade down is but I'll try to link it in the description box down below for you guys. But this is full coverage foundation perfect for winter and fall for me. I cannot wear this in summertime at all. Spring possibly but summer hex no like this will melt off of my face completely. I, I cannot. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. What is that from? I know y'all know what that is from. <laughs> Another foundation that I used up is the Lancome Tint Idol. This one is in the shade 520 Suede W. Oh my gosh. I love this foundation. I use this foundation almost every day. Y'all already know 
I have another one here and I'm wearing it on my face today just in case you're wondering but oh, this is like holy grail foundation for me now. I can wear this year round but I really like wearing this in spring and summertime. So this product here I just used up today. This is the Garnier Makeup Removing Towelettes. This is the pink one so this doesn't have like the oil in it like the two layers like like the blue one here it has like two layers for waterproof makeup this is just the regular one and um i really like these wipes they're really good they're great at removing your makeup and they don't break me out because i have to be careful about the makeup wipes that i use on my skin because a lot of them can cause me to get the little like bitty pimples all over my skin and those take forever to go away so I didn't have any allergic reaction to these whatsoever I love them I will repurchase again this is my second time getting it so I will repurchase for a third time so the last products in my infused box are all brow pencils because I go through brow pencils the most do y'all go through brow pencils the most too like I don't know I swear I'm always going through a brow pencil and it's always on a day where like I don't have another one to replace it and I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do and I end up having to use like another pencil that I don't like as much anyways uh, the first two are from Anastasia Beverly Hills the first one is the brow definer here this one is in the shade dark brown and I used that up and the brow definer is a little bit thicker than their brow wiz. I also have a brow wiz here that I used up in the shade dark brown as well and a dupe for that in case you don't want to spend the coins but I say ABH is worth it is the NYX micro brow pencil and I believe this is in the shade is it brunette or dark brown let me see yes the shade brunette so it's kind of a dupe but I like the ABH one better to be honest I really do like the benefit this is their goof proof brow pencil I particularly like the shade 5 I have the shade 4 right now it's not as dark as 5 so I really do like 5 I also used up the precisely my brow pencil from benefit and this one is in the shade 4 so the benefit goof proof brow pencil is pretty similar to the ABH brow definer I feel like the ABH one is a little bit more dry than the Benefit one. I'm kind of trying to figure out which one I like the best because sometimes I like this one. Sometimes I'm like, I really like this one. Like, I can't choose. Which one do y'all prefer? Do you prefer the Benefit one or the Anastasia Beverly Hills one? Let me know down below. Let's, like, have a little poll. Let's see which one everyone prefers. So... This is the end of my vlog, you guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my empties video. I have been saving a lot of these products for quite a while because I don't go through products that often because I have a ton of beauty products, skincare products. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know I'm like a makeup beauty hoarder. I have a problem, but this is what I love. Obviously, y'all have an obsession with makeup and beauty too if you're following my channel. But yeah, I've been saving up these products. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. This was filmed with my vlogging camera, so if the audio or video quality isn't as good, that's why it's not filmed with my HD camera like back there. I just wanted to like chat with you guys. I haven't been feeling all that great, so I know my voice doesn't sound the greatest. But I wanted to put out a video for you guys tonight. I'm going to really quickly edit this for you guys. And yeah, leave your girl lots of love. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Did you watch my last video? Did you? If you did not watch my last video, you better go check it out right now. Right here. Click it to go watch the video.